let's look at the equivalent circuit um, of a three phase uh, synchronous generator so observe that here you have the rotor basically your magnet they're showing a magnet electromagnet that the current is supplied to the electromagnet which is rotating and then you have three phases which are connected in y right uh, the the neutral point which is generally connected to ground is right here so this is the basic circuit of your uh, three phase synchronous generators and you can also represent it like this field current is coming in alternator field current is coming in it is being supplied to uh, the rotating magnet electromagnet uh, which produce an alternating or um, time dependent uh, flux and then inside of course here you will have um, three phases uh, neutral is connected to the ground and um, the output of the generator is, is, is shown with three phases a b and c and load is connected a three phase load is connected now remember if you have to show the voltage between this this is line to line so you will show the line to line voltage this is e l to l between a and b between B and C and between A and C. So neutral is not shown over here. But of course, it is always connected, the, the, um, uh, the um, synchronous generator winding on stator are always connected in Y. So you have the neutral, which is connected to the ground. Load can be connected either in delta or Y. Now, um, for a balanced load, as we discussed in the three-phase system, uh, we can uh, just do all the calculations on the single phase of the synchronous generator, and then we can extend the values that we get for rest of the two phases. Now, the current, what you are calculating, if the load is balanced, will be the same in each phase. Make sure you do not add the current. Current is not added. If you have 10 ampere current um, in, in phase A, and if the load is balanced, you will have 10 ampere in, low, uh, in phase B and phase C. Uh, likewise, line to neutral voltage is going to be same for each phase. Again, you do not add line to no, uh, uh, line to neutral voltage. Uh, you know, for three phases, you just represent phase A. This is the line to neutral voltage. Phase B, line to neutral voltage magnitude is same, but the phase is going to be uh, lagging the phase A by 120 degrees, and likewise, phase C is going to be lagging phase B by 120 degrees magnitude of the voltage is going to be seen. Uh, the only thing that you add, of course, is the power. So the power of one phase, and when you calculate the total power, is three times the power of single phase. Now, when you um, determine the circuit of the stator, observe, they are, all, they are showing what? The resistance of the winding and the in, uh, inductance of the winding or reactance of the winding. Right, because of course those are the loop, um, uh, the uh, loop of coils inside each phase on the stator. So it has inductance, re inductive reactance, and it has some re uh, resistance. But the resistance of the coil is extremely uh, small as compared to the reactance of the coil, which we call synchronous reactance. Uh, so generally, we ignore resistance of the coil and only consider the reactance of each phase synchronous reactance of each phase so per phase circuit looks like this you have the phase voltage uh, line to neutral e naught you have the synchronous reactance and a load is connected over here and this is the load voltage el or e whatever you want to call it so remember this is line to neutral phase voltage not line to line because remember your synchronous uh, generator a stator is connected in y so you have line to neutral voltage and anytime you are evaluating any circuit if the load is connected in y you are using line to neutral voltage if the load is connected in delta then the load voltage over here is going to be line to line voltage um, excess as we mentioned is the reactance of the coil in which the voltage is going to be induced in each phase. So this is the re uh, synchronous reactance. Now, that's an unknown quantity. So you have to determine before you connect a load and um, you start calculating how much current is flowing and this and that, you have to de determine how much reactance do you have in the coil. 
and to calculate that reactance we have an open circuit test and a short circuit test so what is the open circuit test to calculate the uh, synchronous reactance basically and let me just discuss from this circuit and then move on to the next one basically you remove the load and the terminals are open right now you rotate the magnet electromagnet at the speed nominal speed and you start supplying the current now whatever the voltage rating of your generator is you start supplying the current and you start observing the voltage you connect a voltmeter over here and you start observing the voltage over here line to neutral now when this voltage meter reads the voltage that is supposed to be supplied by the generator that is the nominal voltage of the generator then you record the value of the field current and of course whatever speed with which you are rotating this you record that speed that speed is constant basically uh, at which you are rotating which is the nominal speed but you record the value of the field field current because this field current is producing the flux right so you record the value of this field current which produced uh, the the voltage which is recorded on the voltmeter which which produced the line to neutral voltage uh, required line to neutral voltage or nominal line to neutral voltage okay so whatever voltage is recorded here basically that voltage is induced here why because you have the open circuit here so there is no current flowing right now so there is no voltage dropped over here right so whatever voltage you observe here the same voltage is going to be e naught that's the open circuit test next you are going to short circuit this so the load is going to become zero you're going to short circuit this so now what's going to happen and then you're going to rotate this at the same speed n and you're going to supply the same current ix that you supplied in the last open circuit test okay so you know that when this current will be supplied and you're rotating it n you know that e naught is going to be induced which you recorded in the open circuit test so you already know e naught is going to be uh, uh, induced in the winding of each phase right and then you connect an ammeter over here and record how much current is flowing in the phase or through the ammeter so now this current is your short circuit current now you know the open circuit voltage in the from the last step and you know the short circuit current so your x of s magnitude of x of s is going to be e open circuit right which is basically e line to neutral this is e line to neutral remember if it line to line is given to you you have to convert it into line to neutral e open circuit divided by i short circuit that's going to give you the magnitude of this and make sure when you choose when you write down the value in the circuit remember reactance of inductor is j omega l right so if you if your magnitude is 5 ohm then you're going to write down j 5 ohm and solve the circuit with this value don't solve the circuit with just 5 ohm because it's not a real quantity it's a uh, complex quantity so you calculate the magnitude of this and make sure you put a j over here and then solve uh, whatever current you are solving and stuff so this is the open circuit and uh, open circuit test and short circuit test to calculate the reactance uh, synchronous reactance of the uh, of the synchronous generator now the, the same thing i'm uh, what i discussed is shown here for three phases now the only thing is the, the this picture which i uh, got from the uh, from online uh, they're showing that line to line voltage is being measured now you can measure line to line voltage that is that is okay but when you are calculating the reactance uh, you have to convert the line to line voltage into line to neutral voltage so you have to divide it by square root of three as i'm mentioning over here right here okay so keep that in mind uh, you have to use line to neutral voltage and then i you know just uh, discuss the short circuit current and how you calculate the reactance of it so there is a uh, 16.3 basically uh, go over it it is asking you the reactance per phase also asking you if a, a balanced load of 5 ohm is connected then determine the load current and voltage so go over this it is pretty straightforward and uh, you will understand it in the next video we're going to discuss uh, when 
synchronous generator is under load how it is going to behave.